Episode 2 has a lot of philosophical arguments and brain teasers, so let's get right on to it. Here in this episode, we learn more about Sir John Brannox and what we know about him so far. His idol is Cardinal Newman, which is John Brannox's philosophical and spiritual mentor and perhaps how he developed his teachings known to be the middle way. His parents must be something like a duke or duchess. They live in a castle in their huge estate. Brannock sounds like Tyrion in Game of Thrones. Just listen to it. You want me to be the next pope? He has a brother who died a long time ago, but his parents blame him for that and he is scarred deeply until today. In hopes of asking Sir John Brannox to be the next pope, Voelio and his team persuades John Brannox to accept the job. Their first encounter was such a pleaser, full of philosophical treats. However, at least we Catholics blame everything on God. Actually, we give him all the credit. Is that not the same thing? And you? What do you weep for, for the inexhaustible imperfection of the world? Brannox is famous for his work on the middle way, whatever that means. Hear it for yourself. It is essential to distinguish between what is physiological and what is pathological in the body of the church. There. His eminence has just explained to you the basic principle of the middle way. Buddhism also has what they call the middle way and it's described as the quest for a way of life that would give the greatest value to human existence and help relieve the world of suffering. Going deeper into their conversation and inside Brannox's stunning chapel, by the way, Brannox says that he is a fragile, delicate man and that perhaps the people need a man of steel. Boelio says to Brannox that we are the church. Our duty is love. This leads to Brannox asking them, what is love? What is love to you? A vagrant lies dying on a street corner. The government says to him, I'll help you. The doctor says to him, I'll cure you. His daughter says to him, I'll give you money. His friend says to him, I'll share my wine with you. And the church says nothing to him. The church is thinking about him. As it is from episode 1, Pius XIII's spirit still wanders around and he visits his people, but now he does more than just visiting. He also takes away their guilty pleasures without them knowing it. Like, what? Because it physically did happen, right? It happened. Even one of the guys in Boelio's team said that he felt Pius XIII's presence. And the, the most intriguing part would be John Brannox's box. We see that this box was pulled away by Pius XIII's spirit and Brannox was looking for it. What is in this box? I think perhaps it was related to his um, brother? What do you guys think about that? Let me know in your comments below and I will see you in the next video.